Hi oh, Steve. Okay, so we're getting into the final stages of caulking now. Uh, we're caulking the boat with cotton. The planking is uh, it's one inch large planking. The seam is closed for one third of the inch. So the back of the seam, the back edge of the plank is closed tight. So the seam runs from the open side, about an eighth of an inch, back to nothing. Uh, and as I say, the back third is closed tight. So we're putting four strands of cotton into, into the seams and uh, we're using traditional tools, corking iron, corking mallet. And, uh, tell us about your mallet there, Steve. It's kind of uh, okay, so this rather is a mallet that I, Yeah, this is a mallet that I picked up when I was working in Cornwall. It's applewood. It's nice and light and, uh, and it's done a lot of miles. You can see it's, uh, it's, it's got slots cut in it here and two big steel rivets there to keep it all together and obviously the rings on the end. Mm. It's a very balanced tool, you can swing it away all day and it doesn't really take much out of you. Yeah. Great. So it's a very, very old tool and uh, seen a lot of service. So we start with our, this is four strands of cotton like I said. Corking is just simply picking up loops and the loop will vary depending on the seam. Now the seam wouldn't be a constant eighth, there'll be places where it's a little tighter and places where it's a little bigger, so you can vary the amount of cotton that you're putting into the seam. For instance, uh, on a very tight seam, you might even just twist up three strands and put three strands of, co of cotton into the seam. So we just get it, what we want is a nice even thread of cotton back of the seam. So that first hit pinches the cotton into the back of the seam and then we want to get it all nicely below the surface. So we just work our way back. That's the corking iron used. And then the next iron is a making iron. And the making irons come in all different sizes. Uh, two, two, there's two, I have two different making irons that I'm using on this boat. The larger of the two of them has a groove running down the middle of the, uh, of the edge here. Mm -hmm. And the making iron is the last hit we give it. And it just makes everything back nice and even and uh, leaves room for our lead putty, which will be going over the top, on top of our cot. So we just give it one more hit. That's it. That little bit of corking's made home. And how long, I know you have a lot of people helping yeah. out to cork yeah. the boat, but how long would it take one person to cork the boat this size? Um, well, she's 25 foot long, there's 17 planks a side. I don't know how many feet of corking that is, but I would cork one side in a fairly busy week. I'd put fairly long days at it. So two weeks and one man would have her corked. All right, okay. Yeah. And then, of course, um, uh, once the cotton's all in the seam, we're going to douse the whole boat with cuprinol inside and out, timber preservative inside and out. When the cuprinol's dry, we'll prime with the, with, the, with the marine primers. And then we start with our putty, linseed oil putty, and we'll putty in on top of the cotton and bring, bring everything up flush. Mm -hmm. So when she's all painted, she'll be just nice and flush. Nice and flush. Yeah. Okay, ready yeah. for paint. Ready for more and more coats more. of primer, maybe four or five coats of primer. Then on top of the uh, on top of the lead putty when the putty's dried a bit. All right, yeah. lovely. Thanks, Steve. Okay, Dixie. Cheers, Banner.